Mickey Morgan, Manor City Holland. Uh, good win, Mickey. Yeah, I'm very, very happy going in half time. Probably not with the many goal chances. We created a lot of goal chances, um, just didn't put any of them away. Um, and possibly at half time, that would have given Jerry McCarver and the boys a uh, bit of grief and given something to sort of put a wee bit of fire under them. And in fairness to MVA, they came out in the second half of the last 15 minutes and put it up to. T Holland, T Holland's intensity dropped, mm. but um, you get over the line, regardless, you're over by a point, you're ready for the next round, and that's um, what's the most important thing. Uh, played well, uh, don't get me wrong by any means, but um, at least we're going to wait now, plenty to think about. Yeah. The, the the drop in tempo, how would you attribute that to Emmy Bale kind of got back into the game? Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. <laughs> 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 no, I just tired limbs. Yeah, just tired limbs. Um, you must be very pleased with the, the forward line. All, all forward scored there tonight, which yeah, is great. I wouldn't have been fully aware of that money, but yeah, you have to be doing serious movement out of them. There, there, there was a lot of running in the first half, and men were making runs and running one spot out. Like in that, over, the, over that half hour, 35 minutes, it took out of them. But um, no, yeah, you'd be totally glad of it. You know. I would say, you know, we've been, like everybody in the fans of the Negro, just calendar their games, mm. and it has taken its toll. Like we would have three or four men there playing today, we only need, we need knocks, but it is enough. Mm. And but a worry though, was, sorry, a worry that we did drop, we have to look at it. And how, did, how do you feel your preparations are going generally, Mickey? Generally, very good. Yeah, very, very good. Great, great lads. Mm. Um, you know, I had a brilliant time with Bobby Bay when I was with them, and these mm. lads here are equally as well. Mm. So, you know, from that viewpoint, you're good, you're good, you, you have a lot of big players up the, up the, the centre, it's a big advantage for you there. Yeah, Raymond yeah. Ronan in for forward and Sermon in the field yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Brian, you had Carl, you had a lot of men around the middle there, Sir Ronan and the Tlaib, possibly. Him and Ronan would have been close mm. man of the match, mm. like, but I know that's hard to say about it. But, um, oh no, good men, they can all feel their own ball, win their own ball and use it fairly intelligently. And the strength of this team for you now, where do you feel you can move to push things on a bit further? Seriously. This mm-hmm. where we have to, that will be our biggest strength, how we, how we respond now and how we review now. That's, we're seeing down there, like you've either, you have two guaranteed games into the media championship or you have five, five, if you have, if you come out of the five, you've won it. So, you know, the training field now will dictate mm-hmm. where, if we're going to get the, the five of them, hopefully we will. And your focus at this point? Our focus now is uh, two points in the league. Next mm-hmm. week, we'll, we want a top four spot. Mm-hmm. Um, because that's giving you a good indication if you win, you know, if you do well in your league, if you happen to win your league, if you go up senior again, it's giving you a good indication of where you are mm. and consistency. Like. Mm. And that's what we're looking at. That, uh, be no point in, well, certainly it'd be great to go up for the championship, but if you finish seventh or eighth, mm. you, it doesn't sort of start winning for next year against some of the big. But now that's very high, politically speaking. This is mm. as together and that's one step at a time. We're nowhere near that yet. We finished on a high tonight. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Thanks very much. Oh, thank you.